left skewed and right skewed histograms. The theme of this video is skewness, so let's get started. All right, so again, the purpose of this video is to understand what it means to be left skewed versus right skewed. We're talking about skewness with histograms. And to best understand that, I'm gonna pull up a picture for you guys and um, this will kind of help you understand it through picture. Now, in this example here, what we have is a histogram. Now, if you notice, a um, bulk of this data is right over there. Most of the data is around these numbers. And we got some you know, stragglers over here. Now, we would actually call this right skewed. And there might be two W's. I'm not good at spelling, but don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. What matters is this is right skewed. Now, I know that's a little weird because you want to say that the data is on the left side of this, um, of this histogram. However, it works backwards. Skewness follows the tail. And so when you have a histogram, either it's going to be right skewed or left skewed, or it's not going to be skewed, in which case it would look basically more or less like a bell curve. Now, the idea is skewness follows the tail. In this case, we have basically this curve that looks something like this, and we have this tail over here. And that tail is where the skew is. So we would call this right skew. So you kind of have to think backwards. And if we literally flip this image, it would be left skewed. So if the, if the bulk of the data was something like this, then it would be left skewed. So again, in this case, the data is more on the left side of the histogram, and therefore it is right skewed. Gotta think backwards. So this is just a quick video. There's not much to it, but it's important to understand that terminology because you might see that um, at some point if you apply the statistics that you learn. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video.